the RC301 premium engine oil conditioner. Now this product we use just premium ingredients. Uh, we don't sell our products retail so we don't have to skimp on ingredients. So this product along with all the products that we offer utilizes the very best ingredients for all of those products and we're here to demonstrate that today. And we actually have a really cool demo set up uh, where we're going to actually blow up a couple motors and uh, a couple muscle cars and you'll recognize the cars um, in just a little bit. But let me get into the, our product a little bit more as far as what the claims are, what the benefit of, of our particular product is. Um, let me start off by saying there's all types of products on the market as far as oil, oil additives making all types of ridiculous claims. Uh, you've got products that say that uh, you know, if you pour this product in your motor, it'll restore your engine to back to uh, like new condition. Uh, you've got other products claiming that uh, if you use their product, it can stop your engine from smoking and of course stop oil leaks. Um, and then of course, you've got other products that say that they can, uh, this particular product says that it can increase your oil pressure. So if you have low oil pressure, somehow it fixes your oil pump uh, and, and increases your oil pressure. At Zach Products, we're not making any of those ridiculous claims. We're totally 100% confident in the friction modifiers in this product. Uh, these friction modifiers will go into a motor, they'll adhere to the moving parts in the motor, adhere to the cylinder walls, all the moving parts, uh, it'll form a protective barrier that will protect that motor while it's running. It also has antioxidants to protect against uh, your motor oil gelling up or turning to sludge. And then of course it has a cleaning package to keep your engine clean uh, and keep it cleaning in between oil changes. So, you know, we're not making ridiculous claims. Uh, the demo that we're going to do today and the claim that we're making with this product today is if you use our C301 on every oil change, it will prolong the life of that engine. And I'll, I'll take that one further. It will prolong the life of that engine either with or without oil. So what we're going to do is we have two vehicles that we've selected. We have a Pontiac Firebird or Trans Am, and then we have a uh, Chevrolet Z28. Uh, the reason we've selected these two motors uh, is the, just the fact that they have the same, or, or two vehicles is because they have the same motors. They have the uh, GM LT1 motors in them, uh, very similar mileage, and they are also, we've checked them out, best we can tell they're in good mechanical condition. So, similar motors, um, what we're going to do, or planning on doing, is we're going to treat one of the vehicles with our C301. Then we're going to take both vehicles into the shop, drain all the oil out of the vehicles, return them outside and then at uh, then we're going to start them up together at the same time and then we're going to watch for the fireworks so we'll go ahead and start them up uh, increase the RPM 1500 maybe 2000 RPM and then just watch and uh, of course you know we're gonna those those motors are gonna blow so but what we're looking for is we want to see which one can actually you know continue running far past the, 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 the other one so I mean that's our demo we're going to do that right now, so just follow me over to the cars out back and we'll get started. Uh, we'll treat them and get started with that process. Okay. okay, so now we're at the vehicles that we've chosen to actually do the, uh, the demonstration on. Like I mentioned, we have here a, uh, a Trans Am, of course, and then we've got the Z28. Like I mentioned before, both vehicles have the same motor, that's why we picked them. They both have the LT1 motors. They both have comparable mileage on them, and they're both in good mechanical condition as best we can tell. So right now, this is the plan. We're gonna put, we're gonna treat one of the vehicles with our C301 that has the premium uh, friction modifiers in it. That's gonna be the Trans Am. Then we're gonna take both vehicles, drain all the oil out of those vehicles, and then we're gonna start both vehicles up at the same time. We're gonna increase the RPM up to about 1500 or two grand, and then we're gonna just stand back and observe what the, uh, the outcome is. So let me do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and treat the Trans Am with our premium, Zach Premium 301 engine additive. So now 
that we have our engine oil additive in that vehicle, now we're going to drain both and then we'll be ready to do the demo. Okay, so now we've got our Firebird treated, we've got our, uh, our, our volunteers in the vehicle, we're going to blow these motors up right now. So I'm going to step back, give them a little signal to go ahead and start. We're going to raise, we're going to rev these cars up to probably about four grand. Uh, that should be sufficient to blow these motors up. So we'll, uh, we'll do that right now. Um, you know, like I said, I'm really excited about this demo. I don't get a chance to blow up LT1 motors very often. So let me step back. We'll get this going. Okay, go ahead and start the motors. Okay, so you can clearly see from the demonstration that the, uh, the Z28 sounded almost like a, a rod knocked in the side of it. So it went out, didn't take any more than about five minutes. Uh, the Pontiac Firebird with a C3, C301 in it uh, has continued running. What we're going to do now is we're going to start this vehicle on up and we're going to see what it takes to actually blow this thing up. Uh, we may have to get a bottle of the engine kill and put in this vehicle to actually get it to completely stop. So right now we're going to start it up, we're going to run it probably for four or five minutes, rev it up, see if it's showing any signs of blowing up. If not, we're going to take a bottle of the engine kill and we're going to pour it in the motor. Uh, one way or another we're going to get this thing to blow up, but you might be amazed what it'll take to actually get it to go. So let me, uh, I'll give them the signal, go ahead and start that up and we'll continue with the demo. Okay, start it up. Yeah, bring the RPM back up. I'm going to pour about a half a container of uh, engine kill directly into this motor and we're going to see if we can't get this motor to go ahead and die. While pouring the engine kill in, that motor went ahead and stopped. We're going to try to crank it up again just to see if that motor is completely dead or not. Go ahead and try to restart that motor. Okay. So as you can tell, by putting the additional engine kill in that motor, uh, that was what it was took to actually kill that thing. But otherwise, without the engine kill, you can tell the car treated with the C301 ran a lot longer than the, uh, the Z28 with no treatment whatsoever.